The third method, which is the method that I personally prefer, is the teaching of a system. The idea of a system is this. It's kind of like teaching a, a language. If I'm going to teach you a language, I'm going to have a starting point, point A to point B. I'm going to show you exactly what it takes to be able to go from knowing nothing to speaking that language. So as a black belt, what, I'm do, what I do with my students is I teach them exactly what I do against other black belts. Okay? I show them what I'm good at and everything that I do and how to get there as quickly as possible from, once again, taking them from knowing nothing to doing exactly what I do. Now, even though I'm a black belt in, in, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and have a certain level of skill on the mat, every black belt is good at certain techniques, has their specialty. No black belt is a master at everything. So. I feel the most effective way to get my students proficient on the mat is to teach them exactly what I'm good at, what I'm the best at, and not necessarily teach them uh, the things that I don't have a high level of proficiency uh, with. Now, so once again, what I'm doing is I'm teaching them that uh, uh, exactly what I do against higher level people. And so with the system, every technique that I show is interconnected. Okay? There's a reason why the techniques, all the guard passes I teach uh, are done in a specific way. And every one of those guard passes have a, has a way that they interconnect with each other. I don't really do this thing in which I teach my students uh, you know, 40, 50, 60 techniques uh, from a position. What I do is I show these are the small handful of techniques I use against black belts. And let's work on getting really, really good at those particular techniques. Uh, techniques. I also personally don't believe in the idea of white belt techniques and blue belt techniques and purple belt techniques and you know on up all the way to black belt here. I believe that for my methods that I, when it comes to teaching students, I believe in teaching them once again the system and everybody learns the same system regardless of their belt level. But what differentiates the belt levels is their skill and proficiency with that system. So when, for example, once again, using guard passing, the black belts in my system learn the same and perform the same system, uh, passes as the white belts. It's just they're much, much better at it. They know many more details and variations and how to get it from different angles and how to interconnect it with other techniques and their timing is much better. So once again, it, it, I find that for uh, the average person who does not uh, spend a lot of time outside of class time experimenting, research, thinking about it. They come to class, they just want to get good, and then they want to go home and, once again, go to work, go to school, and their life does not completely re revolve around jujitsu. This tends to be a way that allows them to progress much faster. And now, having this kind of system does not mean that I don't uh, allow my students to experiment on their own to develop their own styles. I just do it a little bit in a, in a different order. So what I do is I teach my students my particular system here. And once they learn that system and they become proficient at it, then what I have them do is begin to experiment on their own and kind of develop their own style, add techniques they, they find that are suitable for their own body type, make modifications as I uh, on what I have taught them based upon their body type and their personalities. So as they're experimenting, if things don't work, they can always resort back to that core system uh, and always have that bread and butter technique that they can rely on rather than you know taking uh, having no system to rely on. And when things aren't working, everything just falls apart. So once again, you know it is a thing in which uh, everybody kind of learns the same thing in the beginning, and then personal uh, style and development uh, tends to sprout uh, uh, and kind of blossom later on.